want to give you all a little time to, you know, join the live as you are home. I hope everyone is staying safe and continuing to practice social distancing and, you know, spending time with your family. I think that is the most important thing right now is just family time. It's been it's been a lot of a lot of time for that, and I hope you are truly enjoying it. Um, our guest today is Jennifer Caslin. She is the marketing and project manager with the Food Bank of Central and Eastern North Carolina. Uh, let's let's bring her on. Hi, Hi. Jennifer. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. It's so good to have you have you with us this afternoon. Uh, so you've been you've been working with the Food Bank for eleven years. Eleven years, yeah. In March was my eleven year anniversary. Eleven years, and you you you're from North New York, upstate New York, right? Upstate New York, yeah. Corning, New York. So you've been been down here for fifteen years total. Fifteen years, yep. Right after college, I ran away from the cold weather. So someone, so a little birdie told me. That you, might, <laughs> you might be a Syracuse fan. So uh, to be honest, I never really followed basketball growing up, but my family is all are all huge Syracuse fans. Yes. Okay. So basically what you're saying is we have time to change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I like to root for, well, it, let's put it this way. I was a New York Rangers fan. I love hockey, was a New York Rangers fan before I came down here and I switched to being a Canes fan once I'd been here a couple of years. So Okay. I like to support local. Hey, we're local. We're local. Yeah. So now nah, after this, we'll make sure we get you to a game as well because uh, you're amazing and you're doing amazing work. And so just a couple questions for you. First one, what are the goals and the mission of the food bank? So the mission of the food bank is to nourish people, build uh, em- nourish people, build communities and uh, empower, or sorry, build solutions and empower communities. Yep. Um Basically, that first one is to make sure people get fed, which is what we do every day. It's the main part of our mission. And then building solutions means um, finding ways to end hunger eventually, making sure the lines get shorter instead of longer for emergency food, which is obviously tough right now. And then doing things that empower communities to move out of food insecurity, education, um, helping folks who have long-term health issues, things of that nature. Yeah. So... So with that, what's it been like right now? I mean, you touched on it a little bit. What's it been like for your team during COVID-19? Like what's, what's been- Yeah, the- so it's unprecedented. I mean, I think it is for everybody. Um, everybody's trying to figure out the new normal right now. Um, the need has increased for some of our partner agencies up to 150%, some of them. Um, so the, the need has definitely spiked for sure. Um, and, you know, it's- switched from us having in in a disaster like a hurricane we're normally responders to that we're there for the long haul we plan on being that here for the long haul with this too however when it's a hurricane not every area is affected and you can bring in resources from other places but every area is affected by this so the resources can be tough um right now but we are doing our best to bring in food. We've, we've sort of shifted to shelf stable items because that's going to last families longer than something like produce. Um, before this, about 60% of what we did distribute was produce and fresh food. Um, but right now we just can't bring the groups of volunteers we in that we could before to help us sort through that product. Uh, so that would be something that we're kind of shifting to try to make sure we can still do but um, probably not going to be able to do that as the, the fresh items as much as we were before. Yeah. How many people you know, are working directly with you on a daily basis? So we've got about 130 staff members at the food bank. Um, although we are working on a skeleton crew, we do have a lot of people working from home, uh, like myself, um, so that we keep everything as safe as possible. So we're really thankful for those folks who go in there every day and Absolutely. and risk their health and work hard to help make sure people get fed. And then we have 900 partner agencies throughout our 34 county service area. So we thir- serve a third of the state through six branches, our main one being in Raleigh. We also have one in Durham. Um, so those 900 partner agencies are the ones that are on the front lines, making sure that people get that food. Wow. We are so thankful for them as well. Yes, um, absolutely. So 
how can how can North Carolina help? How can this area? How can people get involved and help you out? And what what do y'all need as well? What's the biggest need for y'all? So the best thing to do right now, because the supply chain is challenged and we are lacking that volunteer support and we want to buy more shelf-stable food, would be to donate funds. Uh, you can do that at foodbankcenc.org slash COVID-19 give. Mm -hmm. uh, funds allow us to be as flexible as possible with whatever we need to do, whether that is to buy more shelf-stable food or bring in more help because the volunteer support uh, is not as great. People want to come volunteer, but obviously we have to keep those groups small and safe right now. Um, so the volunteer support is not where it was. So if we need to bring in temporary help, um, this allows us to do that. But mainly we're looking to purchase those shelf stable items. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, we want to help. And I have a very special guest I want to add to this, this right now. And his name is uh, Kevin Marchetti. Um, he's the co-executive chair of the and managing partner of Bay Grove. And he is a former manager for our program. Kevin, what's going on? Hey, Nolan, how are you? Thank you, Jennifer, great to meet you. You too. Yeah, so so great to have Kevin. And Kevin has been, he's been the point guard. We'll call, we'll call him the point guard. <laughs> and we want to bring on one of his top recruits really quick. <laughs> this is one of his top recruits, uh, right, Kev? That's it. I've always wanted to recruit this guy. It's been hard to get him to work. But <laughs> Here he is. Well, in my wildest imagination, Kevin, I never would have thought that you would be a point guard. But uh, <laughs> uh, but Jennifer, he, he was a good guy. And uh, and thank you, Jennifer, and your team for thank you. what you're doing and uh, what Kevin and his team are doing. And uh, a, a cool thing for me all the time is bringing great players together and all of a sudden it be, it really produces a great team but more importantly great results and today is about bringing uh two great entities together and we're going to have great results well thank you coach and uh thanks for all your leadership here uh so jennifer um, I don't know if Coach wants a break or I can break no, it. You can do it. But, but Lineage wanted a partnership with Coach and uh, the Krzyzewski family and, and the Duke basketball team and, and make a $225,000 donation. Oh, here. my gosh. Uh, and we couldn't think of something more important uh, to do right now in this time of crisis. Being in the food business with Lineage, you know, uh, we recognize all the pain in the food supply chain and um, to give back to the community of Durham, it's meant so much to me over the years uh, and, and coaches' leadership. Uh, couldn't be a more exciting place to help out. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. You got that's going to make a huge impact in the work we're doing right now. So thank you so much. I can't couldn't be more grateful. Yeah, we're very thankful too, Jennifer, for what this does for the especially the low income kids who are out of school. Absolutely. I don't know if you could make mention of what you're doing with that part of, uh, of, of, the, of the group that you're helping, the, the youngsters that you're helping. Absolutely. So we are uh, keeping an eye on what's happening with kids being out of school right now, um, trying to support our school systems who are providing meals by providing boxes of food that the kids can take home with them. Uh, so the whole family is fed and not just the kids uh, when they can't access those meals because you know, those meals are mostly Monday through Friday. We've also activated some of our kids' summer meal sites early. We've been able to open 14 of those sites, and we have a lot in the queue who are getting ready to open. So those sites can also provide, um, take a little pressure off the school system and help provide hot meals to those kids and teens who are out of school right now. Jennifer, we're hoping that uh, what Kevin and Lynch have done in working with us and providing, uh, you know, really creating our team that it'll prompt a lot of people at Duke and create an awareness uh, for what, I think a lot of people at Duke already contribute, but maybe uh, there'll be a little bit, there'll be more, Hopefully not Absolutely. just, but, but, but a lot more. So it's an honor for us to work with Lynyrd, but uh, to work with all of you, you know, what an amazing, what an amazing thing for our, our program uh, to, you know, to help in some way. Well, we feel the same way. Thank you for everything you've done in the past and, and this wonderful gift. Um, and we hope you all can get back on the court soon and, and get some new recruits and kids in for the next season. Yeah. 
no. Thank you, and Kevin. Thank yeah. Thanks for for what you and your team are are doing. It's uh, uh I'm very proud of you. You know because uh, you're looking out for to be unselfish and humble during this time for people who are very are successful and can provide. You know for others, it's an amazing time, and you and your team are really showing uh, great heart. You know, great heart. I put my fist on on my heart. You're the best there. That's what you guys are are doing, and and so it's neat to be able to do that uh, together. Thank you, Coach. I know it, it means the world to our team. You know, we've got fourteen thousand employees, and they're in the warehouse every day moving. We we, we touch over a hundred billion pounds of food in our network, and they know how important this is. And so, for us, I mean, this we are the food infrastructure. So this was near and dear to our heart, and the partnership we have with Feeding America and the hundred million meals. I mean. It is absolutely critical, and we appreciate the food uh, the food crisis out there. Is, this is like nothing we've ever seen because mm -hmm. right. normally in these times you could feed people, um, but to have the crisis going on around the country at once here, as Jennifer mentioned, makes it that much harder in moving food. So uh, we're happy to help, and, and thank you, Coach, for your support and, and uh, your leadership. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, Jennifer, thank, thank you, you so much. For, we're like, we're – we're all in this together. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, and Absolutely. We're fighting with you. So thank you. Thank you for the awareness and the contribution. It's amazing. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. So amazing, amazing stuff. Um, Coach, before we let you go, did you know that Kevin was going to be this amazing man when he was a manager back in 96? Uh, to be quite frank with you, that's a hell of a group right there. Yeah, you know, you know but uh, a great group. And, you know, I'll say this before saying something about Kevin uh, personally. Our managers uh, have a brotherhood also. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, we're wearing the brotherhood sweatshirts right on this side. And uh, but the managers have been a family and been part of our program like Every manager that has been a part of our team understands that they are as important as anyone else on that team. And that's the culture that we, we built. In Kevin's case, you know, he started uh, in finance, you know, Morgan Stanley internships going up there. And as an undergrad, I understood that he, was, he had uh, great imagination and creativity. Uh, in the classroom and out of the classroom. And, but the thing about Kevin, he has always had a big heart and he has always loved people and creating success. And so am I surprised? I'm not, I'm not surprised. And, and, uh, uh, and God bless you, uh, Kevin, for doing this. And, and also for the creativity of your company, Holy Macro, yeah, like to be able to do this. And, you know, I, I would ask you, I know you and, you and no one are going to uh, talk for a while. Sure. How long, how did you put together, you and your, your leadership team, mm. a company of this size in such a short amount of time and have it, really impact our entire country in such a positive way. It, 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 it's gotta be a book sometime, right? I mean, and there, how you did there, it. There's a book to come for sure. It's been, you know, honestly, we've had amazing luck and success, obviously a lot of hard work, but I will tell you the, uh, our leadership team from Greg, Lem, Greg Lemkul, our CEO on down, it's just been amazing. And, you know, we bought primarily family owned regional uh, companies, 44 companies we've acquired. Um, we're in 12 countries across the world now. And as I mentioned, touch a hundred, over a hundred billion pounds of food. And, uh, I coach, honestly, it's a lot, a lot of stuff I learned from you in the program. Um, maybe people, uh, I know, uh, the analogy of basketball and life, but, um, you know, in some ways I'm still a manager for the food chain here. You know, our brands, Tyson and Unilever and Nestle are all the big food companies, but we're the, the quiet, uh, food infrastructure. And it's the team of people. Um, you, you should, you taught us that day one, it's the leadership. Uh, and the people who make the difference in these companies. And that's the same thing in our organization. Our company, I can tell you, I've never been more proud of our company as I have yeah, in the last month, as right. they've stepped up. I mean, it is every person in every warehouse. Our team, you know, they've honestly, they put themselves at risk every day 
to keep feeding America um, truly, and it's amazing, and um, it's uh, just it's super exciting to uh, see this uh, the success of the organization. And I, you know, we want to challenge the employees to give back in this tough time. We're fortunate as an organization that financially we're doing well here. And uh, I think as you you said, Coach, those who are fortunate right now need to do more than ever to give back because um, a lot of people aren't fortunate and don't have those funds. So we're, we're doing as much as we can, and um, this partnership's exciting. Well, I'll let you two guys talk, but one thing when you are talking, just to explain the cold storage, and to put, you know, people want to read about what who your company is and how it's impacted, uh, you know, our country. It's really interesting, because I mean, I, I looked at it and said, holy mackerel. <laughs> that is really unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's an unbelievable thing. But thank you. Thank buddy. you. All right. Awesome. Right. Be safe. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, man. Kevin, it's great stuff, man. Thank so, you, Noah. Just just going off that, tell us, tell us, tell us a little more about, about your company and what it, what it does for the world. It does amazing stuff, obviously. Yeah, no, thank you. So, so Lineage, i um, been fortunate to build Lineage with partner Adam Forrest and, uh, uh, and I mentioned Greg Lemko, our CEO. So we are the largest temp control warehousing company in the world. If you think about it, we are the food infrastructure. So whether it's frozen chickens, beef, pork, poultry, organic strawberries, ice cream, you name it, you think about the stuff that moves through uh, and obviously a lot of perishable. So yogurt, hummus, um, all types of organic food, fresh, fresh product, everything that needs temperature sensitive comes through our warehouses. We touch close to uh, a third of the food, uh, temperature control food that runs through the country. So we are vital to keeping food on the shelves right now. And like I mentioned, our team's working around the clock right now to make sure we keep food moving. Yeah, no, that's amazing. So when you, we're gonna jump back a little bit. Uh, when you when you became, when you decided to go for the Duke manager position, like <laughs> what was your what was your vision? Cause I was, now I'm in charge of selecting those managers. So right. you, would, you would have been sitting in front of me and what was it about joining the program that that just opened your eyes, opened your ears, that it would blossom you into a better young man and, and help your college career? Like what what was it that, that intrigued you? Well, in, in, in full candor, I came in and think I'd be want to be a college basketball coach. Yep. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe maybe one day I'll still retire and coach a, coach a high school team or a grade school team. But yep. uh, obviously grow up loving basketball. Um, and, and then candidly, as I got involved in the program and was fortunate enough to be around coach and just all the other great players, um, the leadership that came out and the people I met was really unbelievable. And I, I reflect now, I kind of took it for granted being around such a successful organization. Um, but so much of what I learned from coach, I apply in our business and, and the leadership skills and principles. I, I tell everyone, you know, coach is obviously an all time great basketball coach, but even more important is leadership and, and the way he develops young men and talent. And um, I learned so much from that. So uh, uh, I, I joke people end up out yet, got in cold storage. Uh, and you know, I tell them I, I wasn't, I dreamed of being a college basketball coach and end up in cold storage, but it all, <laughs> it all worked out well. It all worked out. So you were around the 99 team. How, right. how good were they? I, you know, we were having a conversation probably a month ago back there. I, I got to believe that's one of the, the great all-time Duke teams. Obviously, uh, yeah. we, I think we were sitting and making a list about one in the morning and, uh, you know, picking out the top, you know, top teams. And uh, it was an unbelievable team. You know, still amazing people. I was talking to Elton the other day and Shane Battier um, and just, you know, Trajan. Um, just such an unbelievable um, group of players and talent and uh yeah. You know, Will Avery obviously is around. Just, just phenomenal people. J.D. Simpson. I mean, just names go on and on. But unbelievable team, unbelievable talent. We had a tough loss at Cincinnati and a, and a tough one at UConn. But uh, what a special team! Yeah, no, they really were. We're excited. A uh, little sneak peek to all the fans listening. We're gonna have that team on next wow. week to discuss. So we'll have C. Will, I believe Trajan, and a couple more guests from that '99 squad. So. D well, Nate. I mean, those are those are those are my brothers. Uh, yeah. you know, D well and Nate. I mean, couldn't be. I mean, you just talk about. I everyone asks about you know my experience at Duke, and I, I tell you, I mean, there's not a lot of schools I'd want to be a, a manager at, but the caliber of from coach on down to the players. I mean, just unbelievable individuals. Um, just great guys, and uh, think the world of everyone. No, absolutely. So to, let's let's get back to the the main point of today. Um, okay. 
we, we met your rec- top recruit in uh, Coach K, and now the Brotherhood joining your mission. But you already have so many guys on that team. How, who who else is on the on the team with with you in this fight? Well, it, it's funny. It, this it, you talk about the the player and manager network, um, but there's been so many great guys: Kyrie, um, Jason, JJ, uh, you know, Josh Hairston, Scott Lamps, who was a manager, helped connect dots. Mike Dunleavy's been helpful. Um, it's just amazing the number of players I mentioned Elton I've been talking with. I mean, all these guys have been so unbelievable, unselfish in this time. Um, it just goes to show you, you know, the leadership once again starts with coach and and come together, but just amazing group of players and uh, you know, all these different markets. And I think what's been amazing to see in each of these different markets, uh, you know, Nick Arison with the Miami Heat too, um, the response we've seen from these communities. I mean, I can't tell you. People right now, it's more critical than ever. Everyone's worried about obviously the sickness, but being fed, I mean, uh, is absolutely critical for these families knowing, especially the children out of school who normally are fed by the schools. People don't appreciate how many students and children are fed at school these days. Um, So getting this food to people is absolutely critical. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, don't wanna take up too much more of your time, Kevin. Just uh, thank you so much for taking your time out of your day to come on and join us. It was an amazing day. Jennifer was amazing. And just thank you. The brotherhood is real, man. And it is. It is. We we appreciate we appreciate you. All, all of our managers, all of you do great things. And you're you're at the top of that list and just amazing work, man. So no, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nolan. And, and thanks to the family. And once again, this go this challenge goes out to the whole Duke family here. Everyone here, you know, we can all make a difference right now. And I challenge, I know a lot of people already do it, but you know, let's let's make a huge impact in the Central Eastern North Carolina Food Bank. I'd love to see uh, this, you know, do a, do a record raise here. So uh, thanks, Nolan. Absolutely. All right, man. Be safe. You too. Wow. So there you have you on Brotherhood. Special episode. We have Coach Jay. We have John Martini. We have Jennifer Ashley. Great day. Great day for Brotherhood. Great day for all of us. Like, let's, let's help out. Let's do our part. See your classes down there below. Donate right there. Thank that. Pass it to a friend. Pass it to family. Just pass it around. Let's, let's do what we can. Let's do what we can to help. And uh, like I said, we're all in this together. So everyone be safe. See your classes. Don't sit and wash your hands. All our healthcare providers, as always.